Welcome back. Well, despite baby formula being flown in from around the world, many parents are still not able to find good alternatives on the shelves. The Michigan Abbott plant that sparked the shortage after being temporarily shut down over contamination has since resumed production. Though it's been up and running for about three weeks now, nearly 22% of formula products were out of stock last week. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live in Washington. And Evan, you spoke with a top FDA official. When do they expect things to get better? We did ask that question. We got a new answer today from a top official. She says by early to mid-August, things should be much improved. But to be fair, that timeline has shifted before. The situation is improving. More formula is showing up on shelves. News Nation going one-on-one -on -one with a top Food and Drug Administration official to get answers on the lingering baby formula shortage. Some families still struggling in recent weeks to find what they need after the crisis at a Michigan Abbott plant forced to shut down in February and then storms closed the same plant last month. In St. Louis on Thursday, a nonprofit distributed donated breast milk to moms in need. So, uh, in response to the infant formula shortage. Uh, we created this project to um, disseminate uh, donor breast milk that's pasteurized through the milk bank. According to data from market research company IRI, the amount of formula out of stock actually rose in June. In May, it was at 23.7 percent, but in June, nearly 30 percent. The FDA pointing to 17 flights of international formula delivered to American retailers and hospitals since May, amounting to nearly 61 million eight-ounce bottles of formula. The FDA says that formula has been inspected for proper nutrient levels and cleared of bacteria concerns. Consumers can have confidence that FDA has looked at these formulas that are coming in new to the country for both nutrition and for food safety. But officials have also given changing timelines on when things will be back to normal. At the end of May, the FDA commissioner said this. My expectation is that Within two months, we should be beyond normal and with a plethora. But that deadline has come and gone. What is the new timeline? When can we see our own U.S. supply back to what it was before this crisis at this Abbott plant? I would say by early to mid-August, we should continue to see very significant improvements in on-shelf availability. And something to note here, just yesterday, President Biden signed the Formula Act. This is a bipartisan bill that would su temporarily suspend tariffs on imported formula. That means potentially it could cost 27 percent less for families buying that imported formula. Natasha. All right, Evan, thank you so much for tracking that and for getting those new answers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.